part one of my mini morning and night routine series. I have really perfected my morning and night routines, so I wanted to show you guys how you can do it too. I feel like you just can't have one without the other. If you want to have a good morning, you have to have a good night routine and vice versa, so stay tuned for my night routine video. Make sure you're subscribed. It is 8.10 right now. This is pretty early for me. I used to naturally wake up around like 10 or 11, but this morning I naturally like woke up at like 7.45. I do still set alarms, but I don't rely on them anymore. In the past, I was able to wake up early to alarms, but the difference was that it would put me in a horrible mood because I didn't want to get out of bed and I was not getting enough sleep. Overall, it was just not a positive start to my day, but now I feel so much happier and more relaxed in the mornings because I know that waking up earlier will allow me the time to do things that will actually make me happy and set me up to have a good day. Anyways, I have not even gotten out of bed yet. I just kept my camera on my nightstand so that I could just film right when I woke up and you guys would be seeing a very real morning routine. So let's get up, go brush my teeth and do some skincare. I just recently got this robe and I've been loving wearing it first thing in the morning because it feels like I'm just wrapping myself in a blanket. It's so comfy. Teeth are brushed, I'm gonna put on this headband and wash my face. I'm just using a basic Cetaphil cleanser. So now we're gonna do my skincare routine. I used to not even really have a skincare routine or if I did do anything, like it wouldn't be consistent, but now I actually have a morning skincare routine. I've gotten into doing this every single day. I've been really prioritizing taking care of myself and it has significantly improved my mental health. So let's get into my routine. First, I wanna say thank you so much to Neogen Dermology for sponsoring today's video. If you didn't know, Neogen is best known for their pads and mascara, but today I'm gonna be using some of their skincare. I'm going to be using some products from their collection that are made from natural fermented water, which gives your skin that glass look. So the first product that I'm going to use is the Real Ferment Micro Toner. This contains 90% BioFerment Complex, and it moisturizes the skin and strengthens your skin barrier. I'm just using a cotton pad to do this. This stuff removes dead skin cells from the surface, cleanses your pores, and gets rid of any makeup residue that might still be there after you wash your face. So I follow that up with their Real Ferment Micro Essence, and I just take this on a cotton pad and then rub it all over my face. So because of its natural fermentation, it's instantly absorbed into the skin, which maximizes the benefits you're gonna get without leaving your skin feeling sticky. And again, it's just gonna give you that like glowy glass skin look. Next, I go in with their Real Ferment Micro Serum. So this has triple hyaluronic acid to really moisturize deep into your skin. This entire collection hydrates and plumps your skin and it can even help with fine lines caused by dehydration, which is really cool. It feels so nice on your skin. It just looks so glowy and pretty and none of it feels heavy on your skin because it just absorbs so quickly. I've been trying to keep my skin skincare routine more simple. I love how simple these products are, yet they're so effective. I don't feel like I'm overloading my skin with a ton of products like I usually would with skincare. They're just so lightweight. They make my skin feel hydrated, and I love how it looks so dewy and pretty, especially because it's a great base for makeup. I'm gonna have a link in the description if you want to check them out. Once again, thank you so much to Neogen Dermology for sponsoring this video. I still have a few more steps of my skincare routine. Next, I'm gonna go in with this acne treatment. I'm just putting a thin layer on all the problem areas, so a little bit over here too, basically my entire face. And then lastly, I go in with this Cetaphil moisturizer that has SPF in it and that is pretty much it for my skincare routine at least in the mornings Okay, so now that I have my teeth brushed, my skincare is done, and I feel like I can actually interact with human beings and start my day, I come back in my room, and this is when I usually brush my hair. My hair right now is in second day curls. I do not wake up with my hair in curls every day. I just happened to get lucky the day that I was filming this. I actually love how curls look on the second day after they're brushed out because it's literally just like big waves instead of like tight curls. Also, if you didn't notice, I dyed my hair. I just got highlights, but it's a lot more than I was expecting and a lot less natural looking. It's probably gonna look fine on camera, but over here there are like three big like stripes and they're just like not blended. Like they just start and then in certain lighting it looks like my hair has like a green tint to it. So basically I bought hair dye. I've never dyed my hair at home before, but I am probably going to tomorrow because I just don't really like it. I want it to look more natural. Maybe I'll film that on TikTok or something so I can show you guys how it goes. I'm very nervous. But anyways, now is when I make my bed. Okay, it is 
9 o'clock now. My morning routine is never strict on like times and stuff. Also, I do want to say I got lucky with my school schedule and I don't have any morning classes. So I'm able to be really flexible with my mornings and just have like a slow, a nice, relaxing morning routine, which I'm very grateful for. So if you can't do this morning routine, I don't blame you. When I was in high school, getting up at like 6.30 or 7, trust me, I was not doing this morning routine. I was rolling out of bed, throwing on whatever makeup and clothes I could and going to school. Anyways, now I usually take this time to kind of pick up my room a bit. Nothing crazy. I just take like literally a minute to just pick up any random stuff that I have laying around. I do this every day, but it doesn't always happen. I just take this multivitamin in the mornings. My grandma got these for me. And she has my entire family on these, so I think they're good for you. <laughs> now it's time to eat breakfast. I never really have a huge appetite in the mornings, but I just try to eat something anyways. So I think I'm gonna have a bagel and a smoothie. I got these mini bagels from Target just because I think they're so cute. take my frozen strawberries and I only put a few in because I feel like it's really easy for them to like overpower everything else in the smoothie. Also this bag is basically only strawberries like there's hardly any bananas in here so I started just cutting up and freezing my own and then I put kind of a lot of bananas in here and then I just add like a spoonful of peanut butter and then some honey and some milk. <laughs> That is so good. Oh my God. So while I eat breakfast, I love to just sit on the couch and watch TV. It's just like a fun, mindless thing to do in the mornings. I'm definitely already very awake because I'm like filming this video and stuff. But on a normal morning, I probably wouldn't be as like awake. So it's just nice to sit on the couch and watch TV and not even think. I know things like watching TV and going on your phone in the mornings aren't the best thing for you. Like going on your phone first thing in the morning is supposed to be bad for you. And I totally get why. Like I understand the science behind it. If you're getting that dopamine hit first thing in the morning and your brain is just craving it for the rest of the day like I totally understand why it's not good for you but going on my phone is literally what wakes me up in the mornings I feel like there's two types of people the person whose first alarm goes off and they're instantly awake and can just get right out of bed or the person who's a deep sleeper and takes like half an hour to an hour of laying in bed after their first alarm goes off to actually like wake up I'm the second person so going on my phone in the morning is literally what keeps me awake if I didn't I would just fall back asleep is that the healthiest no so maybe don't take my advice on that but it works for me let's eat breakfast videos recently you would know that I have been reading a lot more consistently which is another thing that has been really improving my mental health I'm reading Beach Read by Emily Henry right now in order to get myself to read consistently I put no pressure on it all I do is tell myself I'm gonna read one chapter and that's it and typically that's not very long and after one chapter if I want to stop reading I can but usually as I get further into the book I get more invested and I want to keep reading more than just one chapter but that's a really good way that I found to get myself to be better about starting books because if you know me you know that I am so bad about starting books because it's hard to get yourself like invested into all new characters and a whole new plot and everything. So that's my little loophole and just my way of stopping myself from not reading for months after I finish a book. So I'm gonna read one chapter right now. It is now coffee time. Honestly, what would one of my vlogs be without a little coffee montage? That's actually funny because I don't even drink coffee every day. I only drink it when I'm like really craving the taste or when I know that I have like a busy day coming up and I happen to drink it a lot when I'm vlogging, I guess. But I also do not drink it on an empty stomach because that's not good for you. I feel like whenever I drink coffee on an empty stomach, it makes me more anxious instead of just like energetic. And I also don't drink it within the first hour of waking up because that's also not good for you. So coffee on a full stomach and at least an hour after you wake up. for 
before my favorite part of my morning which is getting ready and sipping on my coffee of course i love doing my makeup it is just so therapeutic to me i feel like i haven't done just like a normal sit down chit chat get ready with me in a bit you guys will also get to see how all of like my skincare wears under my makeup i feel like i've been trying a lot of new makeup recently so my makeup routine has kind of been changing up a lot this is random but i just want to say i am so happy that i've like found a good morning routine for myself and like i said earlier a lot of it does have to do with my schedule and how i actually have free mornings now and i have the time to do this without having to wake up at like 5 or 6 a.m or something it's crazy how much these good habits that you incorporate into your life can affect your mental health i feel like i used to not fully believe that doing things like getting up early journaling reading working out self-care like i didn't believe stuff like that could genuinely help your mental health but it really really does make a difference it's just all about like the motivation to start doing those things and incorporating those habits into your life i've talked about it a ton on my channel recently but i really would recommend the book atomic habits it really has helped me change my mindset in such like small but significant ways i was honestly trying to refrain from talking about this because i feel so annoying every time i bring this up but i am so excited for this summer and just the future i've been hinting at a lot of stuff and it's just all coming together and i'm so excited to share it with you guys but basically my content is going to improve a lot starting in the summer because i'm just gonna have a much better situation to film there's gonna be a new series oh, there's just so much fun stuff happening i can't wait till i can just tell you guys everything i've actually seen a few people guess what that thing is and they were like spot on too so if you know me at all it is not difficult to guess but anyways i won't talk your ear off about this because i know it probably is just making no sense i love looking super glowy when i do my makeup i've also noticed a big difference with using a powder puff to set my under eyes and even just like other areas of my face like it really gets in there and makes you look so like airbrush i always get questions about what eyeliner i use i just use this like felt tip l'oreal one in the shade brown i feel like that makes a big difference because brown eyeliner i feel like is so much less harsh than black eyeliner don't get me wrong i love black eyeliner but i like brown for more like everyday stuff that is how the wing looks now let's see if i can get it to look the same on the other side there's always one eye that turns out better than the other okay, it's not the best but it'll do <laughs> i've also been into using brown mascara recently because i feel like it just makes your features look so much like softer and it pairs really well with the brown eyeliner yesterday i hung out with a new friend that i've actually known for a while from youtube and it was so much fun we went to the mall and we were about to walk in this store and this girl stops us and is like can i ask you guys a question we're like yeah she was like do you watch outer banks such like a random question and she was like there's actually like a vip meet and greet going on right now at american eagle i think it was actually supposed to be later that night because she was saying something how like they got there early and she could like get us in or something like that and the way that she was saying it was very sketchy and as like a girl at a big mall you just have to be careful because i feel like there's a lot of people wanting to like scam you or something even worse than that so we were both kind of just like sketched out by it and we were like oh cool like maybe we'll check it out whatever and then we walk into like the store that we were gonna go into and a minute later she like kind of followed us in there and was like i can actually take you guys like right now if you want it was so strange that she was like picking out people to tell it was like a very like secretive thing we didn't see any like signs about it like we literally heard nothing about it we looked up all their instagrams and didn't really see any like meet and greet type stuff so we were very confused and we decided to walk by american eagle to see if it was like actually going on and the store was like blocked off there was like security and then you could kind of see inside and outer banks was like playing on the big like screens in the back and there was a huge line like wrapped around the store we were like wow we really just like passed up on this meet and greet but it was sketchy and we were not about to take any chances i'm very excited for season three as corny as that show is it's just so good <laughs> I hate when you're running out of setting spray and it doesn't come out as like a mist. It's like drops like hitting you in the face. Normally I would like line my lips and do a whole lip combo, but recently something I've been loving is just putting on like normal lip balm. Like I'm just gonna use Aquaphor. And I feel like it just adds to like the glowiness. Like, I don't know. I just have been loving how my makeup has been looking recently. My skincare is probably helping with that. Now it's time to do my hair. I'm probably just gonna brush it again because the curls are still kind of there and I like how it looks and then I'll probably just redo my bangs. The bangs are all done. I love second day curls. That was so easy to do my hair. All right, let's change out of this robe. I have an idea of what I want to wear today. I think I want to do this top from Brandy. I like the fit of it. It's a little like wider and cropped, so it's going to be really comfy. And then I'm just going to pair it with some jeans. Okay, I've never done this angle before, but 
Here's the outfit. I love the way that this shirt fits. I think it's gonna be cold today, so I should probably throw on a sweatshirt. Okay, I had one in mind, but it was dirty, so I'm just gonna throw on like a very basic navy crew neck. And then I'm gonna throw on some deodorant and perfume. It's always fun choosing which perfume I'm gonna wear for the day. I'm go with the Scentbird one. I don't know why I still have the card for this one, but this is what perfume I'm wearing. And last but not least, I am gonna throw on some jewelry. I feel like silver would look best with this outfit. And I have the perfect necklace that would go with my shirt. This little silver chain with a tiny little red heart literally matches perfectly. So after I get dressed and all ready for the day, this is the time that I would usually catch up on some schoolwork before I have to go to school or editing or stuff like that. But I actually don't have any of that right now and I don't have school today. So I have to leave to go to my grandma's house. I'm very excited. My grandma lives like semi close to me and my mom is there visiting her right now. So so I'm gonna go see both of them. My grandma just got a new puppy a couple weeks ago and he is the cutest, sweetest thing ever. His name is Pumpkin. Is that not like adorable? So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go spend the night and just hang out with the three of them. So right now I'm gonna pack a bag. So you guys will get to see what's in my overnight bag for those of you who are wondering. I'm sure literally no one was. I have this old backpack that I always use for my little overnight trips because it's just really big. First I'm gonna throw some PJs in there. Also I wore this cute little set as my PJs last night. Isn't it adorable? I think I'm just gonna go with a t-shirt and these little shorts. And then I'm gonna bring a pair of sweatpants. I also grabbed these track pants to wear home tomorrow. And then I'll grab another top. Okay, got another t-shirt. I think I'm good on clothes. I'm gonna pack some underwear and socks. And throw my deodorant and perfume over there. Also, I have these little like travel bag things. I don't know. I'm gonna fill this one with a bit of makeup, which I probably won't wear, but I always regret when I want to get ready for the day and then I didn't bring makeup. So I'm just gonna bring it just in case. Okay, I probably could have used a smaller bag because there's still a lot of room in here so I might just put my skincare in here also and then my toothbrush toothpaste and I'm gonna bring my laptop and a book and probably just a phone charger I think that's about it makeup wipes that's what I need to bring hairbrush oh my gosh that would be bad if I forgot that okay I think we're good Okay, my backpack is all packed. The very last thing I wanna do before I leave is switch over my wallet. I just got this coin purse yesterday, so I'm gonna switch all my stuff over into this one. The inside of this one has this little like heart design in it and it's just so cute. Okay, it's kind of an awkward shape, so we'll see how I like it. I'm also gonna move a keychain over so that way it's easier to unzip. I just feel like it's gonna be a little bit more like sturdy and I don't know what the word is. Durable, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and head out. Okay, I'm in my car about to leave. That was it for my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, make sure you're subscribed because I am going to show you guys my night routine that helps me have a good morning routine. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.